Hey guys, welcome to another video. This week, I'm trying a punch needle kit by Loops and Threads. So I bought this on my way out of a craft store and I thought everything was included in this kit. Unfortunately, you do need to buy the punch needle tool separately and the package does say that if you read it but obviously I didn't. I did end up buying a punch needle tool so I could do this craft for this video. So I'm just going to get started by looking at the instructions and getting all my supplies together. So first things first, I have to separate all of the embroidery floss strand by strand. After making a big knot with the first piece of embroidery floss, I did get the hang of it. Just have to pull out one strand at a time while trying not to get the other strands tangled in the process. And then it goes pretty smoothly. But then you also have to keep all of those strands separate so that they don't turn into a giant knot. So that was a bit tricky. I ended up trying to drape them all over my camera stand in order to keep them separated and out of the way so I didn't bump them and get them tangled. I did notice on one of the strands of embroidery floss that one was already broken. So I'm really hoping that this kit comes with some extra supplies so that it can make up for the fact that it came with a split piece of thread and to make up for the knot that I made with the first piece of embroidery floss. So getting started for real this time, it's time to put the fabric onto the embroidery hoop and pull it taut. So now using the diagram on the instructions, I'm going to thread the punch needle tool. And I can already see from instructions in step one that you're supposed to use three single strands at a time. When I did this, I used one strand at a time because it had me separate the embroidery floss into six pieces. I thought you use one strand at a time. So on that note, let's see how this turns out. So after all of that, it's time to flip the fabric and place it back in the embroidery hoop. And using the 
pink and black thread, I'm going to make the detail stitches. It says you can hold the fabric up to a window in order to see the lines on the other side of the fabric, but I can see them just fine, especially since I'm looping the needle back and forth between the sides of the fabric. I think for the most part this craft project went pretty smoothly. I'm happy with how it turned out even though I didn't follow the instructions correctly. I did trim up some of the rough edges that I ended up having because of extra thread in the loops and I sealed the back of the piece with some fabric glue just so that nothing fell apart. I'd be interested in trying this again and doing it the right way just to see if it turns out better. But in the meantime, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next week.